Hey, thanks for watching. Today's whole sole purpose of this video is to educate you on the difference between mixed martial arts and other martial arts. Not all martial arts are created equal. Sorry, it's just the way it is. All right. Um, so I want you to understand that if you go to football, is football, hockey, is hockey, baseball, is baseball. Different coaches, different strategies, maybe, but the game is the game. It is the same. All right. Martial arts is not the same. The, the difference you can get from going to one martial arts school to the other is the difference of wasting thousands of dollars and not really able to be able to defend yourself to getting the real deal. We want to make sure you're getting the real deal. That's the sole purpose of this video is to explain it to you because there are still people that are confused on the difference between karate, mixed martial arts, taekwondo, jiu-jitsu, and I want you to know that mixed martial arts is the cream of the crop. It, it works the best, and I'm going to explain why. Um, imagine you uh, are swimming on the carpet, okay? You take your little seven-year-old boy, and you teach him the breaststroke, the crawl, the dog paddle on the carpet. He practices it for a year. Would you take your child to the middle of the lake and chuck him off the top pontoon boat or say, go, go ahead, get in and swim? No, because you would know that he wouldn't be able to swim. So... That's what karate and taekwondo and those little strip mall places, that's what they do. They don't really teach a form of self-defense. They will teach you character development and to look you in the eye and to be respectful and to be, you know, disciplined and get better grades. So they do teach good character development there. But at the end of the day, you want to be able to defend yourself if you're taking martial arts. If I take my child to the swim school and he jumps off the pontoon boat, in the middle of the lake and he's been swim in swimming lessons for a couple of years he should be able to swim and I would have the confidence in doing that because I've seen him swim laps and, and, and I know that he can swim so that's what mixed martial arts is it takes all the guesswork out of it we have no theory we have no well the the here's here's the biggest common uh, phrase that uh, uh, the karate guys use is pretty funny well out on the streets oh, oh, what streets you know, uh, hopefully they're not going out and getting into fights at the local discotheque. You know, they're, you know, what? How do you know? What, what's your analogy if this works or not? You may think it works. How do you know? How do you know this works? That's the difference between mixed martial arts. We have competitors that compete all the time, and these are proven techniques that work, okay? Now, the other fallacy is, well, what about multiple attackers? Well, if you can't defend yourself against one guy, what makes you think you can do ten? And I'll tell you, there's not a martial artist in the world where if you get 10 hardcore, say, bikers that are want to want to stomp you to the ground, and they all rush you at once, any martial artist is done. There's no Chuck Norris, Steven Seagal, one at a time taking on 20 opponents, you know. It just, it's just, it just doesn't work that way. So I want to also have you un un understand that um, uh, if your child, uh, uh, say, uh, he gets the level of black belt. And he's you know 10, 11, 12, whatever. I met a six-year-old black belt the other day that was very sketchy. Okay, um, uh, and if people are calling him sir, and he's he feels real good about himself now, and he's thinking he can defend himself, and then all of a sudden he gets in a scuffle with a wrestler. The wrestler pins him on the ground, and he can't defend himself. He doesn't know what to do. What do you think happens to his self-confidence and his level of 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 uh, thinking about himself. I'm aware, I mean, and his self-respect, or he kind of all goes out the window and he starts thinking, what have I been doing for three, four, five years? And how come I can't defend myself? And why didn't my techniques work? And and, and because they're, they're Stone Age techniques, that's why. And uh, what we want to make sure is that we're training you and your child to actually be able to defend themselves. And we have a system that works. And here's how I know it works. The Marine Corps and the Army, they now threw all their old antiquated systems out and they're now teaching mixed martial arts to the troops. They don't use what doesn't work. The mil if the military grabs on it, you can bet your bottom dollar this thing is this thing is working. Because their lives are on the line. When their lives are on the line, they don't they don't practice the Kung Fu Panda kicks. They do mixed martial arts. That's just the way it is. That's the hardcore truth. And I'm not ashamed to say it either. It's we want to give you a better product. If you go to the if you go to the phone uh, store to get yourself a cell phone, and you say, uh, uh, I want to get uh, internet, I want this, that, and the other thing, and I want my phone, they're not going to give you a flip phone. They're going to give you a smartphone. 
And if you pick the fit flip phone and try to do all that stuff on the flip phone, you're not going to get it. Well, this phone kind of stinks. Well, if you take Taekwondo or Karate and, and you think you can really defend yourself, uh, when you, it comes time to it, you may find that you can't. Now, no system is perfect. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we're perfect. But the percentage, we're, we're working percentages here because self-defense is such a loose game. Yeah, you don't know what's going to happen out there. The percentage of you being able to defend yourself using just strictly traditional martial arts and the way they teach it is probably around 10%. And you get to mix martial arts in the way they teach it, you're looking at 70 to 80%. So the percentages are higher. Now, I'm not saying the guys that practice uh, Taekwondo or Karate after 20 years of practice that they can't defend themselves. I don't know. I'm not knocking them as a person. I'm saying that what they're giving the public is an inferior product. Point blank, it just is. It's not even up for discussion anymore. It's not even... It, it's, it used to be argued in the 90s, well, this, that, and the other thing, what if they did this, but it's not even up for debate anymore. It's an inferior product. It's what it is, and there's nothing else uh, uh, you can say about that. Now, um, everyone at the end of the day wants to be able to defend themselves if they're taking martial arts. Martial arts means military arts. And if they go into a karate or taekwondo school or a mixed martial arts school, at the end of the day, they're thinking, well, they can defend themselves. Now, we can give you all the same benefits that a karate place gives you. You're going to get muscle tone, youthful flexibility. You're going to get in great shape here. All right? At the end of the day, you're going to be able to defend yourself. Your child's going to get the tools, the character development tools of self-confidence, focus. Uh, uh, he, he's going to get better grades in school, more respect for his parents, self-discipline. He's going to learn all that here, but at the end of the day, his confidence will be true compared to false confidence. His confidence will be spot on. He will know that this stuff works. So if he gets taken down by a wrestler, if he actually has to defend himself, he knows that what he is doing will work. And that is what true confidence is. And that is a superior product. Um, now, don't have you or your child join a karate or taekwondo school, period. End of story if you want to learn how to defend yourself. Now, I'm not saying just come to me. Try all the other, and there's other MMA schools out there. I'm not saying, I, I, I'm not saying, oh, just come to us and everybody else stinks. I'm saying, look for mixed martial arts in your community. Go to other mixed martial arts schools. Not me, it's not about the bottom dollar. This is to educate the public right now, to educate you on the difference. All right? It's not about me making a million dollars. It's to educate you on the difference between martial arts. Don't go to any karate, kung fu, taekwondo place if self-defense is in the back of your mind. All right? You want to do mixed martial arts. And try other schools. Try a bunch of them. Find the one that fits you best. Um, if you don't care about self-defense and you just want little Johnny to get a black belt, and to be called sir, and you want that status of having your child get a black belt, and you don't care about self-defense at all, eh, by all means, you know, knock yourself out. But if you want self-defense, you need to try a mixed martial arts school. And that's why I'm going to give you a 30 days free with a 60-day money-back guarantee. That's right, 30 days free, 60-day money-back guarantee. I want you to call me on my personal cell phone right now at 952-201-1605 or there's a million ways to opt in off our websites. Um, but this is a 30-day free, 60-day money-back guarantee to prove to you uh, the difference. And, and go out and try everybody else. And come to us, you know. Go out and try all the karate schools, all the MMA schools. Come to us and then make an educated decision. It doesn't matter. I just want to educate the public on the difference between Taekwondo, Karate, and Mixed Martial Arts because it's such a generic thing and... and in reality, and I even hate to say this, but in reality, I think that the karate and taekwondo schools, when they're saying this is self-defense, is deceiving to the public. It's such a minuscule part of it is self-defense. The rest of it is art, and, and self-defense is ugly. It's not artsy. Okay, The rest of it is antiquated art, and I want you to get your money's worth, if not with me, with somebody else. So... MMA is the way. Listen to the Marine Corps and the Army. We'll talk to you soon. 952-201-1605.